Now, let's see the magnetizing curve. Which, what is the magnetizing curve? Is when we plot, uh, when we plot uh, a, a B in terms of H. So the BH characteristic is shown in the figure number two. Is known as a magnetizing curve. So it shows the behavior of the three regions of uh, the domain. So here, for uh, at zero, so this is H, the field intensity, and here in the y-axis we have the flux density, which is B. So at zero, the material is not magnetized. So when we start increase H here, when we start increase H, of course B it will get increased. So, and we see from the expression of B that they are proportional. They can be considered proportional because B equal to mu times H. So here, with the increase of, with the increase of H, B gets increased. And we call this the linear region. So here, it's a linear region because H and B are increased proportionally. Okay, now in the, in, the, in the region two, when the domains start to be aligned in one direction, so the variation here, it's not linear. It's a non-linear region, it's non-linear variation. And we call this knee region. Knee and Yorkba, and Okay, this second region can be called knee region or we can be called uh, uh, non-linear region. And at the end, when all the domains are aligned with one direction, the material gets saturated in each of them. So now here, B, it will not increase anymore. Whatever you increase H, B, it will not get increased. So this is the BH characteristics. It can be divided, divided into three regions. The linear region, when we increase H, of course, H, it can be increased by the current. H in the, you know, we know, we have seen from Ampere's law, H equals to N I over L, over L. So it can be increased by the number of turns or it, may, it can be increased by the current. So at the beginning in the linear region, whatever I increase H, B gets increased because they are proportional. Then when the material starts to be magnetized, now B and H will not uh, variate proportionally. Okay, so we call this a knee region or it can be called nonlinear region. And at the end, we increase H, but B will not increase anymore and we call this a saturation region. So here, the flux density B increase almost linearly in the region, so in the first region. With the increase of H, B starts to become nonlinear, and we call this knee region. Then at the end, the magnetic materials show the effect of saturation, so no increase of B. And here, you can see here in this, uh, in this curve or in this graph, uh, the, the BH characteristic of, uh, of some materials because they are not, they don't have the same behavior. In the case, in this case, for example, we have a silicon sheet steel, and here we have a cast steel, and here we have a cast iron. So here are the values of H, and here are the values of uh, B. So the, the BH curve or the magnetizing curve, it's different from material. Yes, in the saturation, all the domain are aligned, of course. So. Is it clear this uh, BH characteristic? Because we need it in the electric machines. We can obtain it by an, uh, an experiment called the, the open circuit. We can obtain this, uh, this curve for any type of electric machine. 